You know what? I've got that devil on my shoulder telling me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Uh-oh. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the NASCAR 15 Career Mode. We're racing at Michigan this weekend. Or race weekend, I should say. I guess it is also the weekend when I'm recording this. Uh, but you can see the point standings are pretty tragic after Pocono. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to win at Pocono in NASCAR 15, and my race was no exception. Uh, real quick, we'll take a look at the top of the board, since some people will be interested in that. Kenseth, Keselowski, Stewart, Johnson, Earnhardt, Bush, Boyer, Truex, and Gordon are the top nine. Of course, uh, that should change because of the wins and winning you're in and whatnot. Uh, so let's take a look at the starting grid, uh, and that's probably not going to be very surprising either, unfortunately. So the starting grid, no surprise, the points leader is on the top of the board, Matt Kenseth. Kyle Busch will start alongside on the outside, a Gibbs sweep, Kane and Harvick in the second row will go down through the rest of the field and look for your favorite driver. Unfortunately, my personal favorite driver, of course, is myself. And we qualified last. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what's going on. I always thought I had a good setup for Michigan. I always thought I was pretty good here in NASCAR 15, but apparently uh, our development program is pretty bad, and on these two-mile super speedways, uh, you really lack for pace and downforce uh, when you're a back-of-the-line uh, team. Hopefully, we'll be able to make up some time in traffic. We can fuel mileage our way. Uh, into a victory here. Uh, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Let's come from worst to first here at Michigan. Welcome to a little bit of Motown madness. Right outside the Motor City, we're at Michigan International Speedway for today's running of the Quicken Loans 400. Mike, we got a new surface and this track is fast. It's really fast. But the other important thing that uh, teams always consider when they come here, this is a manufacturing pass. You want to win this race for your particular manufacturer. Very important to them. Sure. Detroit is the Motor City, and all of the Detroit Big Three have all their folks out here to see one of their cars win. Ford, Chevy, will it be a Toyota in victory lane today? cool on that intro thing it almost looked like they had the uh, the current top 10 for the actual race on the uh, on the jumbotron there now that's a really cool feature if that was indeed the case but we're ready to go here at Michigan 200 mile an hour stock car racing oh god Daryl okay anyway uh yeah 200 mile an hour stock car racing it's kind of a rarity these days. You don't get it very much, so when you can get it, uh, appreciate it. So let's see if we can't use some of, oh boy, howdy. Lot of, lot of front end bite, which is not really helping me get a good run off of the corner to be able to fight with these uh, fellas and lady up here. Hopefully they slow each other up a little bit a la Pocono coming through the field. Wow, my car is absolutely wicked loose. Still haven't saved it. We're just going to drive through the grass. Okay, I don't know what is going on. Why? Why, oh, why, oh, why? Did I not put the right setup on the car? Wow, it is so loose. Okay. That's not good. We are going to have to make some huge adjustments on the first pit stop. Um, hmm. Now I'm trying to figure out exactly what I need to do here because clearly the car is absolutely a dog turd for some reason, and I'm not sure why. It was fine in qualifying, and that was definitely not fine now. So, I might need to clutch and coast and just try to make it through this first fuel run without uh, spending too much of my... F Look at the car understeer. Good grief. And into the wall, of course. All right, we're just going to itchy arm it and go, go get in the pits and rectify this issue. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, that looks legit enough. I tried to save it, but I just couldn't. That's what I'm going to tell Mike Helton anyway. All right, I just put all of the wedge in it. Right side tires, full fuel load. And we'll get it back out there. 
and hopefully actually pass somebody and not just skim the... Nice Alright, okay, starting last as you would nobody. expect. Stay focused. We can do this. We're going to get back to the green here though and hopefully the car will feel... The the field. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Here we go. Behind a Menard's teammate. Paul Menard. Well, I shouldn't even say teammate. He's writing... He's, his, his dad, at least, is writing the checks for my car. So good showing for Menards here. Uh, we've got two cars in the back of the field. Literally the two cars that are in the back. Good job. Some prime use of sponsorship there. Okay, the car's feeling better now. It wasn't as fast as I would have liked to have been off of turn two. But we're least in the pack this time. So that's a, that's a good thing. Now, ooh boy. Keep it low. Keep it low. Okay, so I didn't take out my uh, the name of my sponsor, so that's always a good thing. And we're outdoing the name of our sponsor, so that makes us look good, kind of. Even though I don't think the game will take that into account. 212 miles an hour into turn one. Chat's child's play. Child's play. As we... Oh boy. Paul Menard, now why you do that? Why you do that? He almost wrecked Josh Wise there, but we'll bump draft right with Menard and get around the Doge. And uh, there we go. Okay. Let's see if I can't get a good run for once. I guess we'll run in kind of the center lane here. Look out for them seams. Goodness gracious. Look how far Menard pulled out in just a one corner. The tires are wearing incredibly fast this track. I will say that. I probably should have taken four. But I guess we've got now even tire wear across the four tires. The car is still trying to really bite me going through turn one. And just the car, I was able to go 190 out of the corners during right, qualifying. I feel like the setup just decided to say, nope, I don't want to be on the car anymore. So now we've got a terrible setup that's just not working for the track. Yeah, 185 coming out of turn four. Not too bad, but obviously well off of what we need to be. I guess we'll just stay with Wise here, at least have a drafting partner for a little while. And I can kind of hope that they maybe clear. all crash going into the pits or something, because based upon my general fuel mileage advantage high. at these tracks, the I would imagine they're all going to pit before me, so it's possible that I can Hard really actually pull out oh, a bit man. of a lead at some point. Maybe make a, a one a on less extra pit stop. A one less pit stop than everybody else. And there goes Wise. Around down to the inside. But we'll make the crossover move down to the inside. And actually pull around, around Josh Wise. And actually we're coming up back to the back of Paul Menard. So Paul Menard's not out of the picture as a car we can potentially pass. But holy understeer, Batman. Wow. I'm not sure what was going on with that, but the car just decided I don't want to turn anymore. I'm going to take up off the track, or take up off the tr up the track, on and off the track, and uh, just totally not want to turn. So thanks for the and it's still First doing it. Wow, 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 wow! The car just wants to go in the wall, and I'm not sure why. Not sure why at all. So we'll do this clutch and coast thing that we were trying to use to great effect at Pocono. Didn't quite work out there, but at a fast track like Michigan, I think we could maybe make it work a little bit better, especially because uh, if we get some decent fuel mileage out of the There's a nine second gap to the leader. out of the deal here, like I said, maybe we can cut a pit stop off, but who knows at this point, as we've already got cars peeling off into the pits, so cars that uh, stayed out under the, the first go. yellow Three of the race zero. are now coming into the pits and we're just going to clutch all the way down into turn number one. I may be using a little too much brake, but I'm worried about the car just not turning on the exit. Well, that's just turning into the wall. And we're going to see how many cars come into the pits this time around. Okay, let's we just go. try to keep the car on the straight and narrow, but at the same time save fuel and not lose the pack too much. As you can see, a ginormous amount of cars good really good. 
good. just peeled Hello, off and we go up to 28th position on track. And apparently we made up a second on track as well, probably because everybody got slowed up as cars were peeling off Clear into the pits. Low. Here's Cole Witt. Is he going to pull out in front of me? No, he doesn't. Thankfully, he saw me. Left side's clear. And on, on the, the bottom, two back. clutch. Three back. Just let, low. Well, I was going Discharge to just let you through, Mr. Witt, but you decided to try to wreck me. You're clear. And thankfully, fast, I up, saved it. Up. You got this. Nice work, so man. we move up to only 24th position that time. Not many cars came in under that stop. As we try to pull around the outside of Jimmy Johnson, who's running in 42nd position. And we're able to do it. So we've still got quite a few laps before we need to come in. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has an absolutely almighty lead right now. And he is not stopping either. According to the mini map as we're right bottom, three back. up next to the wall and we just cannot stay away from it three back. Coming high. so maybe I put too Good much wedge in the car inside. this time right so player. I guess we'll try to loosen Hard it up on the next pit you. stop I just am completely baffled with the way the car is operating right now Clear now doesn't seem to want to do anything right seems uh, okay we're gonna understeer now and then now we're going to oversteer it doesn't seem to have a good grasp on what we need to be accomplishing here in this race. Maybe I can run the apron. I keep forgetting that the apron is in play in NASCAR 15 because it won't just automatically spin you out like NASCAR Heat does. I'm not complaining about it spinning yeah, automatically awesome spinning today, you out buddy. in NASCAR Heat because it actually gives it a bit of a level of challenge. But uh, for this Let's try to get right next to the white line here. I'm not worried about that yet. To. We still got at least two laps we can make You're on the high. fuel. Put on the left. I mean, heck, the rest of the field hasn't even, or the cars ahead of us haven't even pitted yet. He's right on you. So I know at least we get better mileage Watch than all those guys. He's coming on the outside. Austin Dillon's still out. Brian Vickers and Closing a few others top. came into the pits. We move up to third place. We want to this lap. We need our car to be right. Ten, four. Now, obviously, if we could do this by the end of the race, You're good low. if we can just cut off that one pit stop, we're going to be in really good shape. Because as you can see, assuming we could stretch car it to this back. lap, and now obviously we would have enough uh, fuel save to get fuel, to buddy. the uh, say this save, save, save. get to the finish from here. Clear left side. You know, clearly, side, as we put corner. Brad Keselowski Down into low. the wall, just going to let the whole field go high. by. And then Most just easy clear. into the pits. Clear. Okay, four tires, fuel, tape, wedge, or taking wedge out, I should say. Just a whole smorgage board of stuff we're trying to accomplish here as we're just waiting to get passed and probably lapped. But like I was saying, you know, if we can work this strategy to make one less stop than everybody else, awesome job, guys. we can Great be in for a work. top three. Okay, let's get back in that rhythm. Let's go get these boys. And that's assuming boys, I can't actually get the car to work. So adding tape to the grills should theoretically add some front down force. Taking wedge out should theoretically make the uh, the rear of the car looser. The combination of those two things will hopefully speed us up a little bit. But at the same time, by the same token, I should say. It could also make the car completely undrivable loose. But right now, it's not too bad, but obviously we're on new tires, so you have to take that with a grain of salt. And we're obviously very far behind the rest of the field at the moment. So it's really just going to be about turning some fast-ish, consistent-ish laps. As the car, yeah, it's still pretty loose, as you can see. And I better not slide too much more like that, because uh, the car is definitely going to want to crash and blow the tires off of it. So yeah, we, we're back to we're back to too much oversteer. That's annoying. Well, I'm not sure what to do now, because Dale Jr. has just got an absolutely insurmountable lead right now 
I guess we'll kick the clutch in and just start driving this way again and just hope we can uh, make it to the next pit stop. As there are already people pull pulling off into the pits, so we're already going to start making up positions on the strategy. At least a few here as we go around Wit, Danica, and JJ Yaley to take 40th position. So now it's definitely a. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Step it up. I'm definitely going to be major fuel conservation mode because I think we may only have to stop one more time to everybody else's two stop. And that if that's the case, that's really, really good. We may not win it because like I said, Dale Jr.'s got what essentially is an insurmountable lead at this point. I mean I mean he can make three stops and still be leading this thing. But way home, buddy. You know, as we hit the halfway mark of the race, we're in with a good shot here, I, th I would say. And I just completely ruined everything. Yep, thanks. We just saw that. That This was an unintentional crash. I was trying to save it, and I just couldn't. We're staying out. Screw it. Apparently, Paul Menard thought it was a good idea, too, but uh, we're third on this restart. So this could be good. This will probably, though, be bad. Here we go. Everything is back out. Looking outside. And we're absolutely getting swamped. No surprise. Car outside. Trying to get to your corner. But, you know, we're in the pack. And that's better than I've been able to say all race long. Looking outside. Coming on the high side. Car gets really low. Closing on the bottom. And now we're gonna go four wide because of course we are. Wouldn't be NASCAR 15 or race in NASCAR 15 without going four wide at least once. Keep high, keep high. As we work down into turn three. Keep it right there, and buddy. still, good Check lord. Outside. Closing up top. Just so many cars everywhere. Oh boy, into the wall we go. Looking low. Guy just be smooth. So where are we? 25th. Now all these guys are on fresh tires. We are not. So obviously that's going to factor into it a little bit. Car but low. clearly... Car inside, trying to get to your corner. Oh, for the love of God. Car oh, boy. Coming low. Ah, the Brad. In front. Run to caution here. I felt like I missed the entire field. I was like, that's it. At least I got out of the way. Oh, no, I didn't. Because the very last car in the line took me out. Okay, I'm staying out again. Why am I staying out? Uh, I have no idea at this point. But, you know, whatever. I think it's more of the idea of we can take a splash at the end of the race. But who knows. Might have been a terrible idea now to look at the laps remaining. Looking low. A lot of guys get wheel spin, including myself and Ryan Newman. There is Kyle Busch absolutely making an amazing restart. Coming from about 17 cars back to pass. And ironically... Car on your this is maybe our best restart as we get into the points leader your right side. and the guy who qualified on the pole. Check your inside. Stay up top, you're good right there. But now we start to you start to see where our car is a little bit is deficient. Three, three back, coming low. Car approaching your rear. Looking high. Which is everywhere. Watch your outside. As what are you doing? What are you doing, Cole Witt? My God, what was he thinking? That is just the That's most it, insane man, move up. I've ever seen in my entire life, and he Car made it. One back. He made it work. Car two back. Stay low. He's a madman. Clear right. He's coming on the inside. Yeah, we're actually Car staying inside, up with with everybody pretty well Close here. On the bottom. As we Cover completely just cost Menard's money times two. And, you and, the and we're four wide again. What a surprise! And they try to go four wide themselves. Danica's still back here for some reason. Oh, she's a lap down. So we don't have to worry about her. There was somebody who came into the pits, Jamie McMurray. We're going to have ten laps to go here. I think everybody's going to have to stop one more time, so... 
Clear. If I could just stay up relatively close clear. to the pack, we may actually be able to make clear. up some time. Especially because I'm just probably going to go with right sides only on the next stop. And then a splash, because a splash and go is like OP Car in this top, game. It fills you pretty much clear to the top, top, but not completely to the top. As somebody else's... No, that's McMurray coming out of the pits. So Jamie Mack coming out to a uh, standing ovation, surely. Actually, the car's feeling pretty Turn good outside. right now. High side's clear. We're actually kind of gaining on these guys. I'm kind of surprised. Look at your fuel at least sticking up with them. And I'm not too concerned about fuel economy anymore. It's now just a sprint to the finish, as far as I'm concerned. No pun intended. It's now a monster the wall, to the finish. These days, it's a monster to the finish. But, uh... Watch your rear. Actually, that would be Ten pretty funny if, uh... See, that would be a joke that, that you'd think Daryl Waltrip could make, and it would actually be funny, but he would never make that joke, because he wouldn't... I don't think he would right think to make it. Watch your mirror. If somebody ever said, oh, it's a sprint to the There's finish. Nice well, to the well, actually, Mike... It's a monster to the finish. That would be funny. Looks like Danica Patrick has the fastest lap of the race because she's got the star next to her. I'm not Watch exactly sure how here, that's buddy. possible. Come on, work your way to the front. Okay, I guess we're coming in. And nobody else is coming in. Wonderful. Well, I guess there's one extra car coming in. It's too fast, man. Check oh, up, for the check up. If we're going to go four tires, we might as well fill her up. Oh, I actually missed the pit. I definitely was inside the commitment cone. But okay, not sure how that's uh, how that works. I definitely just cheated there. Not gonna lie. And in, add insult to injury, the car just decides eh, I don't want to turn. What a shock! What a shock! Well, the sponsors are not going to be too happy with this race, I don't think meeting Menards, because I'm pretty sure I'm losing mechanics wear after this race. That's a good thing. Losing sponsorship is always a good thing in racing. It's never a bad thing. Okay, and now we're going to actually enter the pits and be on the speed limit. Alright, right sides only because it's desperation time, and we need fuel as well. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on, pit crew, get it done. And there we go, out of the pits. Now that's one of the fastest of the day. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. Okay, go get him, man. We're still one of the fastest cars out there. Keep hitting your mark. Exactly You're who told you that. Down. See, they always say they always say that uh, crew chiefs and pit folks, they, they always lie to the drivers. And uh, I don't think that was an exception, as the entire field comes into the pit. So if I had been able to make it into the pits, which You've I didn't, before, unfortunately, on, let's pick it up. I would be making up so many times right now, or so many laps. So many positions. So many something. And now the car is actually handling decent because the tire pressures are bad on the left side. So I guess I, I had bad tire pressures. I'm guessing that's what the problem is. Six to go. Boy, I'd love a yellow right now. Actually, no, I wouldn't because I'm a lap down. I would love something. And finally, the car is actually handling decent because the tires are worn on the left side. What what a weird what a weird car this is. Why is it working better with worn right sides? I'll never understand that. You'd say that's not handling better, but I almost put my fastest lap up of the race by getting into the wall. So um, do your own mental math there. We're ten seconds behind the forty first place car. So it's gonna take a miracle a miracle on Broadway to be able to uh, actually make up a position. Biffle's a lap ahead, he's the leader. I figure, kind of feel like uh, since we've itchy armed a couple times this race, I feel like I want to again. You know what? I've got that devil on my shoulder telling me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. Uh oh. You're okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny.
Watch this crash. They better show it. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Player is a wave around. Yeah, I was going to say, we got a wave around, and now we're last. Look at this car. Actually, it doesn't look as bad as it usually does, to be fair. All right, here we go. Nobody's going to pull over and make it easy for us today. Got to go get it. It's a green white checker. Put it on the left. We make some First positions up here. Seconds. Actually, we're in 20th. How'd that happen? Okay. Come on, man. Keep that momentum. Keep that momentum. I don't know what's going on, but I apparently glitched the game in my favor. Oh, boy. Car on the bottom. Three back. Car on the high side. All right. I'll Both take 20th. Clear. I'll take 20th. I think we're coming up to the last lap this time by, so... All right. Of course, the car is damaged beyond belief. There's a five second gap between you and the leader. Actually, I'm surprised the yellow didn't come out for that little White flag, impact there. To it's not going to matter now because the yellow is going to come out. Uh, or the yellow is not going to come out. If there is a crash. So, note to self, don't crash. And here comes Far Mike Lynette trying, trying to take the Valiant 21st back. Inside's clear. And I just could not hold him off because... Uh, Quite frankly, I could not get the car down to block him. Otherwise, I would have blocked awesome and or right. wrecked Mike Lynette there. So but at least we'll keep Mikey behind me. So, Mikey and Eric Almirola wins. Somebody get out the abacus to find out the last time he won and check her flag. Okay finish. Best we could do today. Yeah, I would definitely say it was the best we could do today. So it's a 21st place finish for me, much better than I could have possibly imagined when we started the race. Eric Almirola beat Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, Junior Nation is not going to be happy about that because uh, he led like the entire race and has nothing to show for it. Uh, two mile uh, oval specialist uh, Kyle Larson finished his 10th, Michael Lynette finished his 20th, of course we finished 21st. All the way down through the rest of the field, Paul Menard brought back a lowly 40th, and Danica was last. So, all is right with the world. Al Marola has won. Danica is last. I'm 21st. And we will see you in the next video.